Okay, so we're going to do a, a tutorial of um, getting some colour and some definition uh, to some of the craters on a, a relatively poor full moon shot. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is to brighten it up a little bit. Uh, the way of doing this. Just going to up the exposure. That's a nice uh, brightness on there now. Next step is uh, to go to Vibrance and um, probably stick that up to 30 and Saturation up to 30. Okay. And uh, then I'm going to go to Adjustments, uh, Hue, Saturation and select the red channel. I'm uh, going to increase saturation on red by, uh, I find 30 is probably the limit um, without without looking a bit odd and uh, greens similar and blues start to get a bit of colour in there now and, uh, and then go to curves and just make an adjustment on here. Okay, happy with that. And uh, the next step is to add a uh, high pass filter. Uh, now this this really this is a really nice little trick for the moon. Just copy your background layer, so duplicate that layer, and then go to filters, other, and high pass. Now depending on what radius of pixels you choose, um, can can give you varied results. So there you can see very, very small detail. And if we go up there, yeah, you're bringing out a lot, a lot of the detail there. So somewhere, I generally go for somewhere um, where you can see a good level of detail, but it's still quite, overall, it's quite grey. And then I'll care that. And the next step is just to uh, change the um, layer pattern to um, overlay. And you can see the difference, I'll just take that layer off and uh, put that back on. So yeah, that's uh, how to get a little bit of colour in the moon. Um, so the uh, focus is a little bit poor on this. It was shot through clouds as well, um, but you, that's uh, that's about as good as I can get it on there. Thank you. Bye bye.